Ladies and gentlemen, we got some breaking news for you guys. Exciting news. Eddie and Kit is going to be headed to Crystal Palace. Edu has somehow got us 30 million pounds. Plus, a Mikel Moreno should be announced today. Yes, it should be announced today, hopefully. But before you guys go any further, do me a favor. Please, this is a call for action for you guys. I loved what you guys did in the last video. Please like the video. If I don't tell you guys to like it, you guys don't end up liking it. So please take a second and just like the video. It helps out the channel massively. We also have to talk about Ozyman. Is he going to join a Premier League club? Could it be Arsenal? We also have some updates on Mikel Moreno's announcement. Apparently Sunday it was delayed because Arsenal did not want to schedule the announcement on a Sunday. They might announce it today as, as being reported from, uh, from many sources. But before we go any further, we need to start off by talking about Eddie Inketia, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have not heard, there is some massive, massive news from David Onstein himself. So we are going to now go talk. We are, we are now going to go talk about everything. So just Give me a second, and I'm just going to ask you guys one quick question. Do you guys rate what Edu has been able to do this window? He has been able to flip Eddie Nketia and Emil Smith-Rowe for a total of £65 million. Pounds. That, to me, is a little bit impressive. But here's what the report is. Arsenal are expected to accept an offer for from Crystal Palace to sign Eddie Nketiah. The bid is worth £25 million plus £5 million add-ons. Similar deal to Nottingham Forest was in place, but of course we know that that fell apart. But this deal, no issues anticipated on personal terms for the 25-year-old Eddie Nketiah. This is massive news, ladies and gentlemen. We've now gotten £30 million basically guaranteed for the deal for Eddie Nketiah. This is money we can now use to go strengthen our, uh, our attack further we can go and sign another player hopefully we can go and push on from here and get some work done because there's still a lot of work to be done arsenal need to go improve the attack arsenal need to go improve overall arsenal need to go and get more signings in and with eddie and ketia potentially exiting this gives us that opportunity plus more now let's just let's just go see what the what else was said about this deal as you have um eddie uh, two hours ago it was understood that crystal palace have submitted the initial bid and now it's understood that that bid will be accepted um as as being reported by many people uh, of course, it is the exact same bid as as what fell apart in the in the Nottingham Forest deal. And since we did reject numerous bids in the past, this uh, accepting this bid is perfectly uh, amazing. This this uh, accepting this bid is amazing. Us getting us getting thirty million for Eddie and Ketia or twenty five plus five is great. And this could go a long way in us potentially trying to go and secure Nico Williams as Arsenal's interest in Nico Williams is still there. It would be surprising to me if they tried their luck between now and Friday, as reported by Alex Crook, but we will have to wait and see. Could the signing of Eddie and Ketia to Crystal Palace then push Arsenal faster to go and get another signing in through the door? We will have to wait and see, but of course, Crystal Palace are going to be getting him in. They submitted the bid. The bid is now submitted. Everything is everything is looking like it is going to be done. Eddie and Ketia's personal terms has been agreed with Crystal Palace, and the deal looks like it's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. You have here Fabrizio Romano reporting it himself. This is great news. Twenty-five million plus five million for. We just got to give Eddie. We just got to give Edu his credit. He got the deal done, ladies and gentlemen. We've been wanting this deal done. We've been waiting for this deal to get done, and it's now finally finito. This this is this is great news. This is great news. I'm happy about it, and I just want to know how you guys are feeling because Arsenal finally got the deal done for for uh, what do you call it, uh, Eddie and Ketia. And this is a deal that we have had to be patient. And at times, I didn't think we would even be able to get done, but we have got it done, and that is great, great news. While you guys are here, do me a favor, please do hit the like on the video. I'm just going to show you guys. Mikel Moreno should be announced later today, as reported by Deporti uh, by Munia Deportivo, that Arsenal delayed. Uh, uh, delay is not due to any setbacks, but a scheduling preference. Arsenal did not want to um, have the announcement done on a Sunday. And as being reported here, that um, Arsenal fans will most likely have to wait until Monday for the announcement. Here we go. So yeah, the delay in the announcement uh, thought to be minor means Arsenal fans will have to wait until Monday for the announcement or the un official unveiling of the Spanish uh, Spanish publication expected the transfer to be confirmed. So hopefully that means today is Mikel Moreno Monday and we're going to have to wait and see if, if the Mikel Moreno deal gets fully announced later today at some point. 
hopefully at some point we, we see that that deal gets announced at some point later today. But right now, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So Wolves and Ajax are, are still after a goalkeeper as Bournemouth are no longer after a goalkeeper. They've signed Kepa. So we're going to have to wait and see if anybody else comes in for Aaron Ramsdale. And in the case that they do, we know that we're going to go get Joel Garcia. But just to let you guys know, there was there is there is a bunch of stuff going on with um, Victor Ozyman. Victor Ozyman looks like he could be headed to Chelsea. He could be headed to Arsenal or he could be headed to Saudi Arabia as as um, there is a situation where Victor Ozyman uh, uh, and uh, Victor uh, Victor Ozyman has had a, a deal agreed between Napoli and uh, Al, Al Hilal for 65 million euros, excess of 65 million euros. But the player does not want to go to Saudi Arabia. The player has not accepted any proposal from Saudi Arabia. He wants to stay in Europe. So we will have to wait and see what happens with Victor Ozyman. Last time I checked, Chelsea are interested in a potential loan deal or a swap deal with Napoli for Victor Ozyman. So we're going to have to wait and see if anything happens with Victor Ozyman to Chelsea. Uh, Victor Ozyman to Arsenal at this moment in time is is not really being spoken about, but the player does want to join a European club. He does not want to go anywhere else. He's even gotten to the point where he's um, uh, fighting back against other agents that are making jokes about him. We'll have to wait and see what happens with Victor Ozyman. Last time I checked, there is no real concrete evidence that Arsenal are going to now make a move for Victor Ozyman. I have not even seen any Arsenal Victor Ozyman conversations floating about on socials in the last 48 hours. The last thing I've seen is that Arsenal are moving ahead of Chelsea being reported uh, on AFTV Daily earlier today by Robbie. But that is also coming from this journalist here. A journal, uh, let me show you guys what, what it says. Let me show you guys what it says. So, yeah, I don't think Arsenal are heavily interested in the player, but Arsenal are exploring a move for Napoli winger Kavishkelia. That's what's being reported. And any deal de dependent on what happens with Ozyman, Arsenal are ready to pull the trigger on the Napoli given his green light in the coming days. I don't know if Arsenal are seriously going to go for Kavishkelia, but this is what this report is saying. And it's coming from this journalist, so we'll have to wait and see. I haven't really found anything concrete on Victor Ozyman to Arsenal at this moment in time. It looks like Arsenal might just go back in for Nico Williams, but Kavishkelia, that is interesting to say the least. Um, we also have we also have people saying that Victor Ozyman does not want to go to Al Hilal. He would rather go to PSG. Arsenal or Chelsea this window he's open to go to any of those three clubs so this is the situation right now the player does not want to go to Saudi Arabia he wants to stay in Europe and he wants to play in either any of these clubs PSG Arsenal or Chelsea Arsenal have not made any moves for Victor Ozyman though that is the that is the situation that is the situation the last time we spoke about Victor Ozyman was in was August 21st and Arsenal are back on the trail it, it said, but nothing, nothing concrete at this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen. I will tell you this: I think, if, just to give you my opinion, I think uh, Victor Ozyman will either end up at Chelsea, or he might just he might just stay in Napoli. There's no situation where I see him, uh, I see him going to Saudi Arabia. He doesn't really want to go to Saudi Arabia, so I get it. If he doesn't want to go to Saudi Arabia, no one's going to force him. But yeah, the main news today is that Eddie Nketia is going to be a Crystal Palace player. And that is very interesting to say the least. And also, um, there is one more rumor about um, uh, Zinchenko. So, uh, I mean, uh, Kavior. So, Bologna had had made, made an inquiry to Arsenal over signing Jakob Kavior as a possible replacement for Calafuri. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, Kivior if he leaves from now until the end of the transfer window. That is another thing that we're going to have to check. Um, eight hours ago, people were talking about uh, approaches to Brighton for Samuel Adingra as a possible right wing alternative to Bukayo Saka. We're going to have to wait and see what happens there. Um, Trossard could be getting a new deal as reported by Steve. I don't know how accurate that is. 
Um, I would love to see Victor Jokerez at Arsenal also, but I don't know how accurate or likely that is at this moment in time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else really new to talk about. So the main story is the Crystal Palace story with Eddie Nketiah. We already know Mikel Moreno, uh, the Mikel Moreno situation. And uh, the latest on Nico Williams is that Arsenal are still interested, but no concrete news yet. Ozyman has snubbed Saudi Arabia. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But Arsenal need to improve the attack. And are we going to bring in a Nico Williams? Are we going to bring in a striker? What are we going to do? We need to find out. Because looking around, we have a decent midfield. We have a decent attack. Uh, but the Mikel Moreno coming in gives us that squad depth. Calafuri comes into the defense, makes us even a better defense, one of the best defenses in the world. But the attack, we need something to improve it. Anything. But yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out of here. Please do like the video on the way out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.